Synology VPN Plus Server transforms your Synology router into a powerful VPN server. It helps companies set up virtual offices that facilitate flexible working hours and working styles. In this video, you will learn how to use VPN Plus Server with Synology Router Manager (SRM). You can refer to the timestamps of each topic in the video description. Before configuration, let's talk about the differences between the two key services VPN Plus offers. Synology Web VPN and SSL VPN. With Web VPN, users don't need to install any client software. Accessing the company's internal web-based systems is done purely through a web browser. In contrast, to use SSL VPN, installation of Synology's client VPN software is required. But then you can enjoy access to web applications and also other internal servers running other protocols. For example, you can use a native file explorer through SMB protocol or use SSH to connect to your Synology NAS, as if you're physically in the private network. As both VPN services require a web portal URL for users to connect, you need to have a domain name that can be used to access this portal on Synology Router. You can sign up for free a Synology DDNS in SRM to obtain your desired domain name. Open VPN Plus. Select Synology VPN, then select Domain Setting. Click the Setup button and enter your desired host name. Don't forget to request a certificate from Let's Encrypt, which can ensure the VPN can safely connect over HTTPS. Agree to the Terms of Service and the Privacy Policy. Click OK to complete the domain registration. Alternatively, if you already own a domain name and want to use it to access the VPN Plus web portal, Simply fill it in the field below and import the certificate into the router. Please note that you need to configure the DNS server to point the domain name to the IP address of the Synology router and that the certificate imported should be a wildcard certificate. Now that you have a domain name, WebVPN is a good option if your users only need to access the company's internal web-based services. Go to Synology VPN in VPN Plus Server. Then select WebVPN and check Enable WebVPN. You will see the domain you just registered appear in the self-owned domain. Click Apply to finish. You can now give the URL to your employees. When working remotely, users can enter the URL into the browser and will then see the login portal of VPN+. They can log in to their account. And after login, enter the IP or domain addresses of the internal web services and press Connect. As simple as that, they can enter the company's private systems as they would normally do in the office. You can also pre-configure all frequently used applications or sites for employees on their portal, making it a landing page for all internal systems. Select WebVPN Portals, click Add, and enter the name of the system or application in the portal name field, as well as its internal domain or IP address. Click on Allowed Users Groups to choose who has access to this portal. In this video, we will use all users. Then check Show in Default Portal. You can also give this application a custom portal alias, so that your users can access this address directly from the web browser, without having to go to the web portal first. After configuration is complete, the portal name will be displayed in the VPN Plus web portal. VPN Plus web portal is also capable of showing connection history. For users' convenience, they can add frequently visited websites as a bookmark for themselves by clicking the star-shaped icon on the list. On the other hand, if your employees need to access internal resources not only through a browser but also through their native file explorer, other desktop software, or mobile app, you can set up SSL VPN. Go to SSL VPN located in VPN Plus Server. Click Enable Synology SSL VPN. VPN Plus offers a variety of security and encryption levels. You can adjust them if necessary. Click Apply when done. The last step is to arrange who can access SSL VPN in the permission page. To use SSL VPN, users will also log in to the web portal via the URL at the bottom, but go to the SSL VPN tab instead. They will be asked to install the Synology SSL VPN client. Click Download to install immediately. After installation is complete, 
users will be required to set a PIN code for this client before connecting to the VPN for the first time. It helps to avoid connecting to a malicious VPN server. Click Connect to start using SSL VPN. After connecting, no matter where they are, they will be able to use internal LAN resources and applications just as if they were in the office. SSL VPN is also supported on mobile devices. Users can download the VPN Plus app from Apple App Store or Google Play Store. After installation, they can configure the SSL VPN access URL displayed on the VPN Plus server, port, account username, and password to connect. VPN Plus server also allows IT administrators to easily view network traffic in the last two hours. Using visual representations in the overview page, this allows them to identify abnormal usage spikes, such as when users report a slowdown in VPN speed. In the connections page, you can check the connection details of a specific time period. Choose a time period using the drop-down menu, or simply drag and drop to zoom in to a specific time range. User connections can be interrupted immediately if abnormal usage is found in the online tab. You can also configure more options for end users in the permission page. You can choose to limit VPN connection speed and block VPN access to specified IP addresses. With Synology Router and VPN Plus server, you can now easily allow teams to work remotely. To learn more about VPN Plus server and Synology Router, subscribe to the Synology YouTube channel or click another video to keep watching.